Hello, this is Lucas and in this, this video I'm going to show you how we can use the scroll pane in JavaFX. So I have a anchor pane created here, so I'll just quickly run this. We just have a blank uh, GUI, there's no one here. So we're going to be adding a scroll pane first into here, so let's do this great one for us. So we're going to do scroll pane, I'm just going to name the scroll, equal this to a new scroll pane. So just like that, we have created a new scroll pane, if I type it correctly. Okay, now we should set the size of this scroll pane. Well, firstly, let's just add this. Let's add this to our main window, which is called root. So let's do root. By the way, root is just my anchor pane. Okay, let's do root dot uh, get, uh, get children. Uh, and then we're going to do dot add. And we're going to add in the scroll. And just like that, we have added our scroll pane into our window. You can see by the little box, except there's no one in here. Right, so let's just add in a few things. Well, firstly, let's set the size. Let's do scroll dot uh, set preferred size. And then we have two doubles. So I'm just going to set the value at 200 by 200. Let's run this again. So you can see our uh, scroll pane is now a bit bigger. Now, the way a scroll pane works is... It will, the scroll bars will appear whenever there are values that extend beyond uh, this border. Okay, so if we have a text field that only takes up, let's say, so let's just add one in and we can see. So first I'm going to create a VBox. Yeah, so let's do a VBox. Let's just name a VBox is equal to new VBox. Okay, and then in this V box, let's add in. Uh, let's do dot get children dot add. Let's add in. I'm gonna add in the first name. Okay, and now so we have added this label in our V box, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the V box to our scroll, including all the elements that uh, are inside the V box. So let's do uh, scroll dot. Uh, now this is a bit different. It's not get children. It's not get children that add. It's actually just set uh, content. Now here we just have to specify uh, the content that we want to add, which is just our V box, and we have the scroll already added to the root. So whenever we run this, you can see that the first name appears. Now you can see that this horizontal bar appears because this element goes beyond uh, the border of the scroll pane. So this is why it disappears. Okay. Now obviously if this is smaller, so I'm going to change the font to something smaller. There's no need for this uh, horizontal bar to uh, be visible because this element uh, is within the border of this scroll pane. And then it'll be the exact same thing. Let's say we add another one here. Except let's just change this to last name to just my second label that we're adding in. Okay, so once again, uh, this uh, horizontal bar appears. But if we change the font, let's just make this very big so we can see the vertical bar appear. Still not big enough. Let's just change the size of this to 100 by 100. That's the easiest way to do it. Let's just make the scroll pane smaller. And just like that, we have made the scroll pane uh, smaller. Now you can see that our elements don't fit within this border. So that's why now we have uh, this scroll bar on the on vertical side on the right. And horizontally, they also don't fit. So that's why we have this horizontal bar. So that's the way uh, that works. Uh, so a little tip uh, before I end this video is whenever you use a scroll uh, pane, make sure that you add a V box inside of the scroll pane. So you can add all your elements into the V box. So you can see I have one label here and another label here. And I add both of those labels into this V box. And then all I do is I add this V box into this scroll pane, which includes all of the elements that are inside of this V box. And the reason why we should do that is Whenever we add an element in, it'll be added um, like vertically. So it'll be to the bottom of it. So that's the first 
uh, label and then that's the second label and then they'll keep getting added um, vertically so like down 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 and whenever this um, whenever there's too many labels uh, to fit the border of the scroll plane then the horizontal bar will appear and then you can start scrolling down so that's about it for this video hope this video has helped hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one peace out